I am a professional skateboarder. Um, that is my main job title to this day. I'm 48 years old, and it's still the one I hold, um, I hold most in, uh, in regard. And at the skate park, I loved um, what, what it represented. Uh, I loved that it was a, sort of a counterculture. I discovered punk rock through the skate park soundtrack. Um, I, I felt like there was people that were like-minded. They didn't care about being viewed as being different. I never got into skating to be rich and famous. I think that's, that's the key. Like if there's, a, if there's a thread, if there's a message here, especially for students and whatever you want to study, you can't get into whatever you're interested in just because you think it's your ticket to fame or fortune. You have to love doing it. And in the end, if you're doing it and, you're going, and you love going to work every day, that's what's going to make you happy. And, and you're going to, if you're just chasing the, the dollar signs, you're going to be chasing them forever. It will never be enough. And you'll be working your ass off and you'll be unhappy. Um, and, and I've been through every wave of, of that cycle. And I can tell you now that, that you really got to follow your passion. I en ended up at this moment in my life in 1992, I decided, <laughs> seems like the dumbest thing ever, but I decided I'm going to start my own skate company because it would take the least amount of of capital, the least amount of resources to establish yourself as a solid brand because magazines were struggling. Um, it would only cost so much to get the back cover of a magazine, you know, and, and to get a team together. Um, I had an eye for talent. I knew the kind of team I want to put together and every other team that was there, their whole focus, their marketing ploys were everyone else sucks. We rule, and everyone else's boards are terrible and, and ours are good. And I was like, I'm, I'm over that. I just want to have a team that's based on quality that, that speaks for itself. We actually speak louder than words. And so I got a crew together. I got what I thought was, was a really eclectic, um, solid team. And we went for it. About two years later, um, the first X Games happened, 1995. And it was the ultimate experiment in extreme. I saw an opportunity that we were on that, that we could be seen by a wider audience and that if we just showed our integrity of, of what we do on, in skateboarding and how we have developed it over these years and over this time you haven't seen it you know in, in the late from the late 80s to the mid 90s skating was was transformed through street skating through technical tricks and it really had come into its own um, and so the x games happened and Skateboarding rose to the top of, of the interest. Unreality to me was when we were releasing our fourth game. So every year we're releasing a game. When we released our fourth game, the other three games were still in the top 10 of sales. So needless to say, the game changed my life. It's probably a big reason that any of you have even heard of me. Um, it's probably a big reason I'm here today talking to you. And it's a big reason that I still get to skate for a living because having that huge success and having that um, that financial security only allowed me to skate better. It wasn't like I had to scramble for every job to, to pick up the slack. It just allowed me to, to focus on what I truly love, and that is skating. All of that allowed me to, to still chase this dream that I feel like I'm chasing to this day. Um, it, was, it was success beyond my wildest dreams. We've learned that if we give a dollar to a skate park, 20 more dollars will be given in other sources. Um, to date, we have been doing the skate park, the foundation for 15 years, and we've helped to fund over 550 skate parks uh, around the US. And so that's <laughs> the best thing you can do is to give back to that community, to the people who want to live that same dream or have those same ideas and, and try to give them a chance. You know, even though we are creating these skate parks and these facilities, it's not to breed a, a, new, a new generation of professionals. It's so that kids have a place to go so they feel like they're looked after, so they're validated in, in what they're doing. You know, it's like I said, it's just more about a, a, a place to share ideas, a place to hang out, a place to be safe. Um, that's what the skate parks are to me. Uh, and, and that's what it was, and I never forgot that. That was my, my where I skated growing up. I was there every day after school, Delmar Skate Ranch, and it was my home away from home. It's where I, I built my longest friendships and really where I built my identity as a skateboarder. Um, and so I want that same opportunity for, for kids all over, especially in the more disadvantaged areas. So um, that is basically my story up until now. Uh, and um, I'll take your questions.